I hope you guys are ready for the world's best magnet fishing adventure. This is part two of our treasure hunting adventure across the UK. Oh, what have we got, mate? What have we got? We've been traveling all over the UK. Welcome to Scotland. Oh, yay. We're in view. He's searching for all types of treasures. <gasps> look at that. Have a look at that. A dodgy canal in London. Meeting loads of people along the way. Magnets away. And finding lots of treasure. I think I might have got some gold. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, we're winning down here, man. <laughs> I'm going to struggle to find a spot to throw my magnet. A night mudlarking adventure. <laughs> How good is that on the River Thames? I've got an accent already, Aladdin. Oh my gosh, I almost got a pigeon. I can see loads of bottle tops here. That's so probably you can't understand a word I can say. We've been magnet fishing in Camden and mudlarking in London on the Thames. Why me? Treasure hunting road trip UK. I like it. We're in Brighton. Look at that. There's dinosaur bones out there. So stick around and make sure you subscribe for the videos. Whoa. Here's some highlights before the adventure begins. Hope you like it. We Ooh. like it here. It's beautiful and viewed. How cool is that? Bottle top. <laughs> this is the entrance to King Arthur's castle. That's the Roman baths up there. We're lost. <laughs> yeah, we're lost. <laughs> it's a good thing we built the camper van with a hot shower. Metal detector. See you later. G'day from good old London. We are down here on the Thames, on the River Foreshore, to do some mudlarking. And when you're doing mudlarking in London, there's only one other person I could think of joining, and that is our very special guest today, Sci Find. Hello, mate. How you doing? All I'm right. I'm doing, bro. Right. G'day. G'day. So, you wellies? I've got no. No, no wellies. <laughs> Knee pads? No. Trowel? Mm, no. <laughs> well, he's not very prepared, is he? Mate? No, but that's why I've got you to guide me through. So, let's go find some treasure, let's mate. I'm expecting gold on this tour. That's what it said in the uh, review. <laughs> gold, gold in the description. It said gold promised on Sci Fine's mudlarking adventures. You've got the brochure then, did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you detector. Whoa. I thought you said the tide was going out, mate. This is the SAS version of the mudlarking tour. <laughs> Extreme. Not for light hide. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck already. <laughs> okay. It's filming already. Oh god. Yeah. Am I <laughs> it is I think my magnet's stuck on something in my bag. <laughs> is there? Oh, sorry, I'll just go that way. <laughs> Look at all these bones down here. Hey? Oh my gosh. They're light, so they come right up into the corner, all these bones. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, they were, you know, they were, they were to the animals, like... Look at them all, there's still more here. Wow. <laughs> Butcher the animals and throw them in the Thames to get rid of them. Yeah, exactly that. I mean, yeah. the Thames was a big sewer. That's a big rubbish dump, wasn't it? Look at all those yeah. bones, huh? They're beautiful, really. Yeah. I've never seen this part before. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Meanwhile, it gets washed away. <laughs> no, no. Is that where the tide comes up to? That's incredible. It's like 10, 10 meters or so. 10 meters the tide comes in and yeah, out. So you've got a short window to go mudlarking before the tide comes back in again, which is why sometimes it's a bit frantic <gasps> leaving the foreshore. And also, you need to know where your exits are. You are moving fast because I'm out of breath, mate. <laughs> I've got to catch up with this guy. But look at that. Look how high. The tide comes up here. We would be underwater. And Cy was saying about the pirates, they would come to this area to be hanged, like Captain Kidd, the famous pirate. He never revealed where his treasure was buried, and it was only found recently in the last 10 years. And tell us a bit about how they did that. Well, it was a bit of a public uh, spectacle. And uh, there was no TV back then, so what was a, well, a good day out was a good day's hanging. <laughs> So you would go out. Oh, hanging. Uh, yeah, they'd get three or four guys that were pirates or you know, high treason or whatever it was they were, they were done for, or they were found to be guilty of, and they would hang them somewhere. We don't know where exactly, but somewhere out here they would hang them, and, and crowds would come down and watch. And then after they were hung, 
They were then put in gibbets or gibbets uh, and for three tides so that their bodies and their, you know, so they're definitely So dead. the tide would come in over them yep. once, twice, three times just to make sure they're dead. Exactly. After exactly. they were hung. After they were hung, yeah. You had, they had to I sure. think that's what you say in London is a proper job. <laughs> a proper job. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it was so, a warning to others as well. So if they saw these guys being hung, all their bodies decomposing, you know, it would put you off being treacherous. Yeah. Don't be a pirate. <laughs> be a treasure hunter. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What are we doing? Well, it's quite straightforward. Let me just look in for anything that we don't think is natural so anything okay. unnatural man-made we're looking for so yeah anything that's perfectly circular or got some intricate detail that you think that couldn't possibly be made by nature yeah we're looking for things that are man-made so i mean first of all things like that i mean it's only a nail okay but, you know you know good eyes not, i missed that one that's, that's, <laughs> not, that's not natural right? okay neither, neither is that it's a bit of iron so okay. you, you know that it takes quite a few months to get your eye in, as it were. Okay. But, um, well, well, I've got one day, so. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how yeah. we go. And this is called troweling, is it? Scraping. 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 Yeah, okay. so what we do is we just literally take in very slight um, levels of, of sand off the surface. Yeah. And um, yeah, just seeing what, if anything pops out. Sometimes coin will just flip over. Um, oh, I'd yeah, love to see a is. coin right now. This is really exciting. Gosh, that looked like a coin there. That's it, sometimes you're too quick and sometimes you might miss things and you're thinking, oh no, what was that? You have to go back and see if you can find it. But yeah, sometimes you might spend, you know, ages doing it or you just, something might pop up straight away. Oh, there we go, square nail. There you go, it's got a bit of age to it. Yeah, I love a square nail <laughs> and I'm going to keep that as my souvenir for sure. <laughs> for, sure. for sure? For sure. For sure. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at this, mate! Oh my gosh! I got a coin. Yep, as well. <laughs> yes! I left that to you on purpose. Thank you, mate. He's <laughs> taken me to this spot, planted the coin here. Oh, what have we got, mate? What have we got? Let's have a look. <gasps> it's an old one. Oh, it's a, it's a halfpenny. A halfpenny, a half penny. Oh, that's, I know that is. I'll let you figure it out, though. That's a nice coin. It isn't a nice one. Here we go. I'm trying to read the date here. Can you read the date on that? Let's say. It's, it's 18, it's 18 something. 18 something, there it's, you go. You know who that is on that side, right? Is that Elizabeth? No. Nope. Victoria? Yes. Oh, there we go, Victoria Penny, half penny. So from about 18... Uh, that'll be roughly 18, 1860, 1850 to about, that's a young head, so it'd be quite I early. Think it's 1850-ish. Oh, 1850, first coin of the day. That didn't take too long either. No, you, you've obviously come, you know, you got the... I come uh, begin, prepared. I come prepared. Luck. Beginner's luck. I'll tell you what, the, it does what it says on the brochure. Guaranteed <laughs> treasure. <laughs> Let's keep going, well, mate. Well, I'm pumped. Well I'm addicted. Well done. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. Stoked. <laughs> You're right, it just flips over, though. Yeah. Yeah, you've got young head, and you've got bun head, and you've got Gosh. bale head. Young head, bun head, and bale head. <laughs> that is like a young head. That's another one. Now, I am going to throw the magnet out in the River Thames, but first of all, I'm just going to drag it on the ground to show you how much stuff is in the ground here that's, that's made of metal. Are we ready? Okay. We're just going to drag it along here. This is where we're... Look at it just come out of the out of the ground just out of nowhere. Whoa! <laughs> it's so cool. Look at all that, hey? That just took all, about 10 seconds. We've got a magnet full of rusty, crusty stuff. Now I've got to get it off. <laughs> oh mate, look what I've got here right by the bag. Look at that. Clay pipe. Jamie kit. Hey? You jammy git? Why? I bet you these are common here, right? Not that common, not really. No. Oh, yeah. oh, Look, but... you can see the ash still in there. Yeah. That's yeah, so that was, cool. That was smoked. That was smoked. Let's have a look. So I reckon you're talking about 1750. 1750? Yeah. Because, All right. Yeah, because that's the style of 1750 to 1780 pipe. So 
I don't know if that's a real date or he's just blowing smoke up my proverbial. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool. Yeah, that is, that is really All cool. right, we've got another artifact. Do you know what? I'm glad you found that because I was going to give you a pipe. Oh, really? Oh, it's too nice. And it was similar to that. So. Okay, there we go. Oh, awesome. You saved your. Save yeah. you that, but how nice is this guy? He's going to bring a pipe for me, but now I've got a souvenir yeah. of my own. Cool. There we go. I'm loving this, man. I'm loving it. It's so quiet down here. We're just chilling. But it was quiet till you turned up. Till I turned up with a noisy <laughs> Australian. You thought you sent us back home? <laughs> Look at this. Just chilling down here, flipping over some sand. <clears throat> Who knows what could turn up here? Roman, Neanderthal. <laughs> A patience game as well. So, yeah. Uh, you know, you've, got to, you've got to give it some time. You give it some time, mate. Uh, <laughs> you never know. We'll keep going. What about this for an idea, mate? I'll go over the ground with this okay. and get rid of all the metal, the iron, and you can go metal detecting afterwards. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Sweep it clean, brother. Let me sweep it clean for you. Yeah, lots here. And hopefully we can get rid of all the iron from here and get some bedrock. Oh, this, this is an attractor here, this big rock or log. It's going to catch all the... That's a reasonable signal there, Lee. You got, you got a signal? A reasonable one. All right. I like the sound of that, a reasonable signal. What have we got here, mate? Over that way a bit, is it? in this area. Oh, what can it be, mate? He's got the pinpointer out. Come on, gold ring. Oh, you got it, you got it. Ooh, what is it? It's a musket ball. A musket ball. Well, wow, it's a, it's a, what a cool piece well, of history. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pistol shot, actually. Yeah. So a smaller gun. But yeah. Fire from a pistol shot. Whoa, you, whoa, 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 we're getting... <laughs> yeah, the ghost didn't like me picking that up. Yeah. Maybe it was from, like, you know, a pirate or something. Yeah. It could be, it could be. That is so cool. We've got, a, like, a real pistol bullet from here. Could have been a jewel down here. There you go, for you. Put that in your little collection of finds. Look at that. That is so cool, mate. I'm loving the history, loving the finds. Thanks, mate. <laughs> there we go. What do you got there, mate? Another good signal? Yeah, it sounds good to me. What have you got? What is it? I think it's a button. What? It's quite a cool little button. Yeah, look. Oh. Let's give it a wash. Give it a wash in there. Give it the anticipation. <laughs> yes. I think it's a military button. A military button. Oh, no, yes, not. look at that design no, on that. That's, that's older. That's Georgian. Oh, that is crazy. It's a beautiful one though, isn't it? It is. Look, wash the back of that. You can actually see the loop on there. Oh my gosh, we're winning down here, man. <laughs> oh, I lost it. <laughs> oh, I lost it. <laughs> He's bad as me. <laughs> look at it. It's so cool. Yeah, you've got the, uh, the shank on the back. Yeah, it's still there. That's going to look great, man. Is it silver? Ah, oh, it's going to be brass or a brass alloy, but wow, beautiful. it is a dream find. It's a flower, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, mate, absolutely stunning find that. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for clearing the iron first. Yeah, it's a teamwork, mate. We got across with I'm the really magnet. I'm really happy with that. Genuinely, like yeah. you know, happy because yeah. you can get a little bit over excited about some things, but that is a is a gorgeous. Beautiful, perfect condition, Georgian Yeah, look at the button. beautiful piece of history Complete. down so, here in the Thames, and that is I'm gonna, amazing. I'm going to add that to my little pouch yeah. of cool finds that I brought along. There so, you go. That's, that's a that's great gonna, that's find. Gonna, that's going to go in there. I would have given it to you, but no. no it's too. See, it's too good for him to give to me. That's how good it is. Well <laughs> done, mate. Excellent luck in the muck. Like that's some luck in the muck right there. <laughs> Get in you, good thing. <laughs> Have a look just down here. I think I can see like a piece of a bottle top there. You see that? Oh, that's an old one. Wow. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Oh, see how thin it is. Yeah, it's so thin. Wow. Yeah, that would have been a little bottle for medicine or anything. Before it gets dark, I'm just going to bring you down and you can be the eyes and try and see what you can find down here. So I'll go very slow and you can get the feel of what it's like to be a London mudlark. Keep your eye out for some coins, anything round that looks like it's man-made. Let's see what we can find. Look, that's a piece of a clay pipe. It's broken. 
but a little piece of it nonetheless there's some more clay pipe now don't bother leaving a comment below because I'll be gone by the time you do so if you see something don't make me cry and say I walked over something oh, beautiful oh look here Oh yeah, you'll come back and get it. That's the top of a bottle there. Glass bottle. You just gotta have really good eyes. Have a look, there's a, another. I'd love to spot an, a coin with my eyes just doing it like this. It's great fun. Mm. But look at all the pieces of, of metal and rubbish and junk. It's just incredible what you've got up here. Like, You've got big iron tools and bolts and poles and bricks. You know, it's really a whole hodgepodge of stuff. Like, look at the size of that square nail. That is so cool. And you, if you look down here, look at all these other bits of iron all in here. It's incredible. It's just everywhere. And in amongst it, you've got bone. Look at the size of that bone. It's so big I can't even pull it, pull it out of the mud. And then look at these clay pipes here. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's another piece of the actual tube of the clay pipe. Let's see what's washing up here right on the uh, edge of the water. Oh, another piece of clay pipe there. Wow. <gasps> look at this. That's a jawbone. Wow. I don't know what type of animal that is. Have a look at this. A jawbone there of some kind. Have a look at human. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me going. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you can see that it's probably a, like a grazing animal. Yeah. It's got those really harsh molars, so probably a sheep. Sheep. Probably. All right. Oh, look at this pot here. A piece of old pottery. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I'll better turn the, the camera the other way. Here we go. Magnet fishing on the Thames in London. 2,000 more years of history. Let's see what we get. <laughs> I always wanted to do this, eh? Let's see if the fish are biting tonight. Do you think you get as far as that boat? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get the boat. It's very rocky down there, which is great for magnet fishing because if it sinks too deep into the mud, you can't get to it. But we could really find anything here, couldn't we? Oh, there we go. Got something out. Ooh. Yeah. Cannon. I like the cannon. Please. A cannonball would be great. No, an, an, actual, an actual cannon. <laughs> he doesn't ask for much. Okay, let's see what we got. First ever cast magnet fishing in the Thames in London. Oh my gosh, look at all the metal on there. And you can see it's magnetised. Yeah, that, that could be a boat hook. A boat hook? Yeah. Oh, so it's, no, it's a staple from a uh, ship. Staple from a ship. I don't know what that is. That's just a round piece of pole. This one looks kind of very Ooh. old and interesting. Oh, I was, at first I thought it was part of a like, smashed cannonball, but it looks a little bit too flat on the other side. Yeah, it does look a bit flat. Okay, and then we've just got a million nails on there. Look at all the nails. Over to you, buddy. I'll stand on the end of the rope so you can just throw as far as you can. Okay. All right. Magnet fishing with siphons. Oh, that's not a bad throw. I didn't want to throw all my car keys and stuff in here. <laughs> all right. So do we sort of bob it up and down a bit? Do we sort of... just, just drag it along, let it do its thing. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck, otherwise you're getting wet, mate. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. Look at all the mud coming up from that. I'm excited. Look, he's got something big. Is it a sword? <laughs> oh, what is that? Look at it all on there. You got something cool down here, man. Yeah, oh, okay. Cool insulator. You know, that's a junction box. Junction box, okay. Look at it all, the iron in there. <laughs> that is next level, isn't it? It just goes I to- I want a knife. I think a knife would be quite, you know, yeah. plausible to find. Yeah, definitely. An old knife? Yeah, I think we should do this. Okay. We can do this later. We yeah, do we're doing everything. Fun. We're Inside doing magnet back. fishing, mudlarking, cool. and metal detecting. Love it! <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm just going to drag the magnet down. Okay, here we go. It's <laughs> unreal, isn't it? Yeah, it's just crazy. You know, you know people were breaking ships, they were shipwrights. Um, 
make all sorts of stuff there. So there you go. Amazing. In just a short amount of time, we've got a magnet full <laughs> of rusty bits of iron. No wonder it's hard to metal detect down here. Have a look at that. It looks like one of those medieval masons. Yeah, you, you swing it around. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Piece of pottery. What's on the other side? Oh, nothing. Mate, I love mudlarking. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Thanks so much for bringing me down here. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. There's so much history here. Oh, it's, it's never ending, really. Never ending, so much no. to find. And, you know, we're just looking on the ground. We did a bit of magnet fishing. We did mm. a little bit of metal detecting. And we did some like scraping, scraping, scraping which yeah. is like the proper mudlarking. That's right, yeah. Yeah. So a little bit of London in you. I think now we should go back to the battle cruiser and have some pig's ears with my new china. <laughs> I picked up a hell of an accent, haven't I? <laughs> we'll see you soon for some more treasure hunting adventures in the UK. I've got a link below for SciFind's mudlarking YouTube channel. Check him out, it's really cool. And we're gonna see you soon. Yep, see you later, mud lovers. Thanks for having us, mate. You're very welcome. Okay. <laughs>